This is my 2019 Nevada mule deer hunt. We just got here today doing a little bit of scouting uh, before dark and the season opens in the morning. We just cruised up into this basin just glassing around found a couple does and a small buck so far but nothing nothing big. But me and my dad will be here for the next five days looking for something that excites me so wish us luck. Good morning guys. It's opening day of my 2019 Nevada mule deer hunt. We just got set up for hiking in for a little ways. We've already seen six bucks on the trail in and then now at the top of this basin there's probably seven or eight different bucks. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve different bucks. So we're in the buck hole. Hopefully one of them is a shooter. It's a good looking buck over there, Joe. Is it? Yeah. My freaking scope's fogging up though. There. Where the, where the big open snow hillside is? Or is there just like nothing on it? To the left of that canyon. In that big open snow, right down in the in the crevasse. Oh down there. There's a couple deer, and then there's a buck right below him in the sage. It looks pretty good. Once my scope settles down, I'll see what it is. Bucks everywhere. Told you. So I think I'm gonna pack up, head up to the top of this basin, check out the other side. See if there's anything else over there. At four point, he's a nice buck, but I'm not ready to shoot him on opening day. Daryl? What would Jared do? What would Jared do? Jared would probably shoot that buck. Jared would shoot that buck. Jared would probably shoot any of those bucks. Daryl would shoot that buck. <laughs> Daryl would shoot that buck. But I'm picky. We got five days, so if second, third day, or the rest of today, don't go so well. We'll be back up here and going after that buck. He's a, he's nice. So, see what else we can find. Well, first morning, opening morning, hunt's over. We saw close to 20 different bucks. Two of them were fairly decent. That four by four that I showed you guys and then there was a smaller four by four he was probably taller but he had just crab claws on the front he was real real small on the front but he was pretty tall but i think we're gonna go look for something else this evening and tomorrow morning and if we don't find anything bigger then maybe we'll come back and take a shot at that four point see if we can get him because he's a nice buck i'm just not sold day one so, what do you have to say, Daryl? Gotta name that deer so we know what we're going after. What's his name? I don't know. It's your deer. Or your hunt. We'll think of something. Hot. Yeah. Sweaty. Yep. Ready for something to drink. Well, 
that happened fast. Uh, we had that buck bedded at like 600 yards. And downhill. <laughs> yeah, downhill, luckily. But uh, I made a stock, got within what I thought was about two to 300. Uh, I still couldn't see him because he was bedded, but Daryl was up on the hill with the spotting scope watching him. Um, and then all of a sudden he stood up and I gave him the old one, two. And of course, there was a fork at horn probably 80 yards from him, freaking keying on Brad. So I'm going between looking at the buck bedded down and the fork at horn. And I just happened to look at the scope and buck was bedded down, switched over to look for the fork at horn, and I hear a shot. Look back <laughs> to the scope, buck's gone. Look up in my eyes, see a buck running, try to pull up with binoculars and don't see nothing, and then just hear some noise from Brad. <laughs> like I said, I couldn't see yeah. the buck, so I was just waiting until he stood up and showed himself, and he did. I looked up on the hill and just saw him, and I was like, oh, crap, it's time to go. So I pulled my rangefinder up, said, I think it said 2.30, I believe, and put it right on him, hit him the first time. He ran downhill a little bit. I could tell he was hurting, and then I put another one in him, and then he went crashing down and disappeared in this super tall, thick brush. But we just made our way over to him, and I haven't even put hands on him yet. So let's take a look. Oh, that fell down. Slip. Big body deer there. Nice. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Got a little kicker starting right there, but a little bit of velvet on the tip. I'll probably pull that off. Yeah, we spotted this buck on day one uh, up in this canyon. But we saw him from a long ways out and I I knew he was a good buck. I just I couldn't find myself shooting him on the first day just because we hadn't seen anything else. Um, we saw 20 bucks that morning. Uh, he was definitely the biggest one by far. Definitely the most mass. Nice 4x4. Four four. Um, the only thing I wasn't too sold on was his width. And getting up to him now, I don't know exactly how wide he is i would say somewhere between 20 somewhere around 23 or so it's kind of what i thought he was but if he was about five or six inches wider i think i would have shot him on opening day thought to myself i was like man i would shoot myself in the foot if i don't go shoot that deer big bodied deer so we're gonna get him propped up and take some pictures and then we will Get him out. Get him ordered out or <laughs> boned out, out and load it up and head on down the hill. On. It's not gonna be easy. No. What time is it? Like one o'clock? Yeah, it's close. About one in the afternoon or so. I'm gonna get my tag slapped on him and we will get it going. Sorry we couldn't get the kill shot, but it happened so fast. Awkward place too. Yeah, awkward place. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>